Has anyone ever stopped you and said, girl, what are you wearing? If they haven't, that's okay. Using these five hacks will get you there. What's up, my cherry bombs? Welcome back to another video. My name is Abby, and on this channel, we talk about fragrances. Anything that has to do with smelling good, feeling good, that's what we talk about. And if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in, go ahead and consider subscribing and joining the cherry bombs because on this channel, baby, I don't know about y'all and y'all other channels, but on this channel, we get lit, okay? So if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified for every single video that I do post and occasionally we sprinkle in some lifestyle content as well so i definitely encourage you to go ahead and join the family is definitely free if you're watching this video if you clicked on this video that means you are looking for extra hacks to elevate your fragrance wardrobe now these hacks are very simple but believe it or not a lot of people don't do them so we're gonna go ahead and dive into five different tips and tricks that you can use to definitely elevate your fragrance wardrobe showering <laughs> a lot of people believe it or not don't know that that is an important part of the fragrance journey you have to shower okay you guys you have to shower and i know sometimes you may be tired and you don't feel like showering but get up and go shower because you can never add fragrance on top of dirty skin even if you were to wipe it down and then spray that specific area the other parts of your body is probably nine times out of ten ten times out of ten smelling bad and we don't want to give off those vibes especially if we're trying to allure a man or allure a woman because if you're a man you can definitely use these tips as well so when you get into the shower i want you to think about the fragrances that you're about to wear if you're going to wear a rose fragrance a vanilla fragrance a coconut fragrance try to use products that lean towards those type of scent profiles like for example today if i'm wearing a vanilla fragrance i'm gonna make sure i use different types of vanilla body washes such as a dove vanilla pampering body wash such as the nivea coconut and vanilla body wash and many more okay you guys so you want to target the scent from the beginning which is the base your base have to be on point and if you start off in the shower i promise you you will not fail don't worry we're gonna get to the fragrance but we're not at the fragrance stage yet once you get out the shower this is where step two comes to play you want to know how to apply your fragrance there's a technique to it use this technique and i assure you that your fragrance game is going to be on point all right so once you get out the shower you want to moisturize your skin you want to moisturize your skin with your favorite moisturizer such as a body lotion or a body oil what i usually do i take one pump of body lotion and take a pump of oil mix it all together and lather it all over my body now i'm an over sprayer and i like to spray all over my body so when i say i put it all over my body of course not the intimate parts my legs everything okay and once i do that this is where step number three comes to play step number three is literally applying because i'm gonna apply the fragrance all over my body i want to make sure that the oils and lotions are placed on parts that I'm gonna be spraying. So you already showered, you already moisturized the skin, and now if you're the type of person that separates the oil and the lotion, this is step three for you. This is the next step. Applying a solid oil. So like, let's say I'm wearing a vanilla fragrance, I wanna go towards a oil that is vanilla based. For example, I have this Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc or Soleil Blanc body oil. This is a shimmer oil, but this oil can be worn any time of the year because the shimmers are not that crazy this is the perfect oil to put on my skin because one it is very hydrating and moisturizing it's not greasy it's kind of like a dry oil two it has an amazing scent profile that will complement the fragrance choice that i make this has the vanillas it has the coconut it has the pink pepper it has all of that good stuff so you want to start off with an oil base that has that fragrance that you want well, we are at our fragrance now when it comes to the fragrance you want to wear whatever you want to be honest with you but for example let's say we're wearing vanilla today and we're wearing vanilla 28 right this is a fragrance that does last, but it's not one of our heavy hitter lasting fragrances. So whenever I'm wearing this fragrance, I definitely do this step. Now, let's say that I only applied this oil in the specific parts. Let's say we use the technique, which the technique is applying at your post point. So on my wrist and in my inner arm, 
behind my knees and behind my neck and chest. That's the technique. I promise you, if you wear your perfume in those specific areas, you will get more longevity with the fragrance. I promise you. Now, if you're just putting the fragrance anywhere, like on your the back of your hand and it's not moisturized, you're only gonna get as much as the fragrance can give you. But if you moisturize the skin, put the oil on in that specific spot, this fragrance, if it was originally four hours, it would definitely prolong you for six because it's not sinking into the skin because you already put those barriers there so it could sit on the skin and not move. The last step to elevate your fragrance game is having an enhancer. Like I said, this is one that doesn't really last that long, but don't worry because after all that step, and if you feel like you still want the fragrance to last all day long, get you a fragrance enhancer, okay? And a fragrance enhancer is a fragrance that has a long lasting note. Usually the one that I like to use is Eccentric Molecules molecule or one now this only has one molecule in it which is iso e super and it gives you like a woody feel to me on the skin it smells like cedar wood like a straight up cedar wood fragrance the best way to use this is to apply it first and then to apply the fragrance on top i promise you this would instantly elevate this fragrance to a beast mode fragrance this fragrance could definitely go with every single type of fragrance that's out there why because cedar wood is a base that is very 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 common in the fragrance industry whether they put it in the notes breakdown or not nine times out of ten they're using a woody type of fragrance to amplify the fragrance with this fragrance right here you get that cedar wood vibe even though it's iso e super you could pair it with any fragrance you have in your collection that does not last long if you want to elevate your fragrance wardrobe using these tips and tricks will definitely help you first you got to shower then you gotta hydrate the skin and moisturize it. Add a complimenting oil that will go with the fragrance. On top of that, add your fragrance. And if you need an extra, extra boost in the fragrance, use a fragrance enhancer such as Molecule 01 from Eccentric Molecules. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you would like to see more videos from me, I'ma put up a video for you at the end of this video so you can go ahead and watch. Cause at this point, baby, if you watch this video, you might as well go ahead and watch some more. You would not be bored, I promise. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I will link everything in the description box below for you guys to shop. And if you found value in this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and put on your notification bell. And also, if you really, really found value, go ahead and click that like button so that YouTube knows that what I'm doing on here is valuable. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I love each and every one of you, Cherry Bombs. Until we see each other again, please, please, please stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances. Bye. <laughs>